So this is our RC card which we are using for our project and here we have our SJ1 board connected to the L298 dual H bridge for the motor control. Now the DC motor is connected to the PWM1 and the steering motor is connected to the PWM2 and the H bridge is powered using a 9 volt battery as also to power up the SJ1 board we connected the 5 volt output from the H bridge to the SJ1 board here as you can see when we connect the battery and so that's how we power up our car so here we have the platform for the water tank this is made of the acrylic sheet and we have the frame so that we can hold the camera on top for the live recording of the water tank so here we have our water tank and as you can see we have our goldfish which you can buy from any pet store for 32 cents and this is how we are going to place our water tank on the platform and we used double sided sticky tapes so that the tank doesn't uh, move about or shake about you know while it's on the run so here we have our fish tank mounted on top of the RC car also we have attached a mobile phone on top of the frame for live recording of the movement of the fish this is done by using the DroidCam software as you can see it's taking a live video recording right now and now we'll show you how the image processing works by capturing the movement of the fish based on color tracking so here we have our droid cam software and I'm gonna start this as you can see we are taking a live recording of the fish and now here we have our image processing program and I'm gonna run this so now it's tracking the fish as you see on the video now based on the movement the direction of the fish the program captures and sends the data to the SJ1 board using UART serial communication the image processing information received by this SJ1 board is now sent to the other SJ1 board on the RC car using Nordic wireless communication